Today in the case of Karen Reed, accused of leaving her Boston police officer boyfriend for dead, we've got a plot twist worthy of a daytime soap opera. Spoiler alert. It involves some seriously inappropriate texts. So it turns out the lead investigator, Proctor, has been sending texts calling Reed a whack job and making jokes about not finding any nude photos on her phone. Classy, right? According to court records, Proctor apologized multiple times, saying these were juvenile, unprofessional comments. The defense team, led by Alan Jackson, didn't hold back. They grilled Proctor about his objectifying texts and suggested that his biased comments influenced the investigation. It's like a courtroom version of Mean Girls, but with higher stakes. And just when you thought it couldn't get juicier, Proctor admitted he's friends with several witnesses, including the brother of the man who hosted the party where the victim was found. According to defense claims, they've gone drinking together. Talk about conflict of interest. With the defense hammering away at Proctor's credibility and suggesting evidence tampering, this trial is turning into a real-life thriller. Will the jury be swayed by these revelations? Stay tuned, folks, because this drama is far from over.